now take pleasure in introducing Carol Peacock of the Girl Scouts of America and John T. Kelso of the Boy Scouts of America, who will present greetings on behalf of the young people of this country to the First Lady and to our President. President Johnson, on behalf of the four million Girl Scouts of the United States, I am honored to have this opportunity to extend our warmest holiday greetings to you, to Mrs. Johnson, and to your family. We wish you a truly happy and peaceful Christmas. At this time, a season of hope and of giving, may you guide Americans in offering anew their special gift before the world, their firm faith in democracy, and their lasting belief in freedom for all nations. May your work find abundant blessing and let the coming year bring us all closer to the Christmas message of understanding among men everywhere. With the world's free people and with our fellow Americans, the Girl Scouts join you this holiday, President Johnson, in your mission of peace. And now, Mrs. Johnson, with our wishes, I'd like to present you with this Christmas bouquet. Now, for his Christmas message, the President of the United States. Mr. Secretary of Interior, Reverend Clergy, Vice President-elect uh, Humphrey, ladies and gentlemen, once again we come here to keep an old and cherished tradition, the lighting in Washington of the nation's Christmas tree. For all of us of all ages, the lights of Christmas symbolize each year the happiness of this wonderful season. But this year, I believe that the lights of Christmas uh, symbolize more than the happiness of the moment. Their brightness expresses the hopefulness of the times in which we live. These are the most hopeful times in all the years since Christ was born in Bethlehem. For nearly 200 years of our existence as a nation, America has stood for peace in the world. At this Christmas season, when the world commemorates the birth of the Prince of Peace, I want all men everywhere to know that the people of this great nation have but one hope, one ambition toward other peoples, and that is to live
live at peace with them and for them to live at peace with one another. So let us pray at this season that in all we do as individuals and as a nation, we may be motivated by that spirit of generosity and compassion which Christ taught us so long ago. And now it is my great privilege to do as presidents have done for 40 years, to press this button and light the Christmas tree for all the nation. And as I do so, May I take this opportunity to express to the distinguished uh, representatives, the ambassadors of foreign countries, to our official family, to each home and each family in our glorious nation, the wishes of our family. Mrs. Johnson and Linda and Lucy and myself for a happy holiday season and years of peace and success to come. Thank you, and God bless all of you.